Welcome back to Castlevania Area of Sorrow. I am Alex, also known as Solanus Dracone, and we're picking back up after having defeated the Manticore. Now you notice, if you come back in this room after defeating the Manticore, you get this really big pain in the ass dragon, Quetzalcoatl or whatever. And he's just he's just a nasty son of a bitch, just bouncing around the room all problematic like, so I'm just gonna avoid him. Still swinging around this rapier of ours. Oh god, not the flea man. Oh, now I have the flea man soul, yay. <laughs> Great. Well, you know, every soul helps. So just gonna try to pick our way through here, just sort of focus on getting a bit further. We are pretty close to getting another thing, just another sort of level opener. Gotta take these zombie officers carefully there. If they get too close, they can do a number on you. And we pass on through to the study. Nice little area here. And there's Durgas to play with. And this fucking guy, so, alright, cool. Gotta be careful. Again, remember, we're on hard mode. So I just like to kind of, you know, boogie around here just a little bit, find some places that might give something. We can't get up there yet, we don't have quite the jumping power, so I think the uh, double jump is the next thing we're gonna be getting. Oops, student witch. Oop, 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 nope, 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 okay. Woo! Almost got my ass kicked there. And let me see if I can find a better... better thing. Let's try out the Flea Man. Okay, not terrible. Not the worst thing in the world. Ooh, he almost got me, girly. Cute little thing, she's just trying to fly in her sword. So now I got the Bastard Sword. Oh, gotta remember my controls here. Bastard Sword! The son of a bitch Bastard Sword. Not bad. Nice reach on that one. I did did notice that uh, I got a Basilard earlier. And actually, interestingly, as I look at that, the Basilard seems to do the most damage of any of the weapons that I have. It's got a pretty short range, but, you know, if it's got a decent attack, it might be worth doing. Again, if you get too close, then that, that, that could be a problem. See, that that's not benefiting me at all here. I really do need a weapon with some reach, so we're going back to the Bastard Sword. We're still one-hit killing these guys, so... Well, not not the Durgas. We're still one-hit killing at any rate. Uh, some of the smaller, tinier enemies. So, you know, it's, it's maybe worth keeping the longer reach just because. Alright, so we're getting a little bit desperately a little on health here. Oh, I love that sound that the evil butcher makes. It's fun. It's just one of those enemies that you don't mind just pounding into the ground. There we go. Alright, now this this is this can be a bit problematic. Nice effect on the, uh, nice effect on the Flea Man there, though. Cool. Managed to get that sorted. Alright, so this is an interesting little, uh, that's an interesting thing right there. I'm gonna give it a go. You can push the box around and get up to higher places. I don't think it's enough, though. I think I still need the double jump to get that high, so... For right now, we'll leave this box B. We'll come back to it. Fuck you, Flea Man. Ooh, Arachne. Ooh. I'm in trouble. Girl, you ain't got no clothes on. I can see your breasts. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Flea Man, slightly less aggressive in this game. St 
still gotta be careful with them. Wait, whoa, wait. Where did those webs come from? Oh, uh, she appeared to spit them out of her tits for a moment there. That that would be especially surreal and weird. Okay, Katobli Pass. You can actually safely jump upon that monster. You know what? This is too much. This is too much right now. There's a save room over here. I'm just gonna use it. Beautiful. And now that we've used that, then we're just a little bit that much safer. Whoa! Stupid fuck. Ah, she brained me with the damn broom. Alright, alright. Let's get back to work. Let's get back. There's nothing down here we can use just yet. Good. good. Ow. Quit doing that. Oh, hello. Hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Yoko Belnades. I'm a member of the church. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Aluka, um, I mean, Genya Arikado, right? Yeah, as if we didn't get it already. I did meet him, but... He told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Arikado said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait, did you say my powers are dark? Oh, you mean you didn't know that? Uh... Oh no, did I say something? I... Well, what's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. Rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. It comes as naturally as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I called it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. Its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. Well, when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose with my sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second-guess yourself. Be confident. That's the most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. <laughs> I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man called Graham? Graham? Yeah, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way! He did not look like a bad guy. Nah, he was fucking... Uh, he, was, he was A1 trustworthy. Right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. Oh, alright. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. And that was Yoko Belnades, a more or less direct descendant of Saifa Belnades from uh, from the original, well, Castlevania 3, Trevor's Belmont's thingamajig. So, yeah, that's kind of, you know, the family that introduced a wee bit more magic into the Belmont clan, or family, Belmont clan, excuse me. And I'm facing off a Minotaur and a Katobaltas. Not happy. So yeah, the uh, the Belnades clan were, you know, ancient witches and all that. And uh, very powerful. And when Trevor married Sypha, which is canon, then that just introduced more power into the Belmonts. So as you can see, there's a boss door over there and a very weird door here that only opens up when we face away from it. So let's just skeet, skeet, skeet our way back through it. Ah, uh, 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 stone. Woo, woo, woo. Come on, piss off. There we go. And there's a reason we're going over here first. There's actually a very useful weapon for facing the boss that's in there. Boy, I talked some shit about the backward slide, but I'm getting a lot of use out of it, aren't I? Yes, the whip sword. Whip Sword has the exact same power as the Bastard Sword, but it's got a really long reach. And that's going to be very handy when we're fighting this boss. So I got to think about what I might want to do as far as uh, my special powers against that boss. Do I have... No, I'm not going to equip Zombie even when I got nothing else. Um, You know, 
I think I'll stick... I'll give the zombie soldier a try, it might do some good. Alright, let's do this. And we fight a giant armor. Now, actually, one of the safest places to be when fighting this guy is right at his feet, because none of his attacks can actually reach down and hit you. Let me see if I can get a grenade off. That really doesn't do much good, does it? And yeah, just kind of wail on him. Uh, except watch when he gets too close. Yeah. Yay. So you just want to have... Yeah, the, the whip sword is really kind of the best weapon. It can, it can just get past his defenses. Yeah. Really a one-trick pony, aren't you? Smack. Yeah, grenade's not too bad a weapon here. It leaves me an opportunity to do some damage when I'm away, so that's good. And we beat him. So that too is lovely. And now we meet a guy. Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. I thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? <laughs> I love Hammer. So I just bailed on my mission. Look at you fucking badass, okay. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Ah, good for you. There are weapons all over this castle, and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> Hammer's badass. He actually is legit, you know, he's... Yeah. A shop, huh? I don't get it. He is legit, though. And now we've got the Malthus Soul, where we can double jump. So that is good times. Now we can reach some of those places we couldn't before, and maybe get a better weapon. Although I'm kind of liking the Whip Sword. It is neat. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's, uh, let's go back over... No, this place has nothing. Alright, 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 alright. Whip Sword is damn useful in dealing with these enemies that like you to get up close, so I don't know. It'd have to be a pretty compelling argument to get that out of my hands. Never underestimate the value of a distance weapon here. Look how far away I can still deal out damage. I mean, this one isn't my favorite weapon, but it's pretty damn useful. Oh, and there's a booer, buer, whatever in this room. Good place to come if you want to farm that soul. Hi piss off you. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Let's proceed. Another save, just because it's always safe to save. And head on up. Yep, yep, yep. Greater maneuverability, greater distance, just good weapon. Don't want to have to deal with getting all up in someone's mug, see? Get complacent and that shit happens. In this game, the best weapons aren't going to be necessarily the highest attacking ones, but the ones that uh, give you a little bit of a distance advantage. So there is a secret wall here. We got Kaiser Knuckles, which is a... Uh, let's check that one out. Fist as strong as an angry god. That is fucking amazing. I have got to give that a go. I've never actually used this weapon. Woo! Okay. Alright. So, multiple attacks. That's fun. Might actually use that a bit. Why not? Cool. Let's let's see how it does on Katobal Paws. Woo! 
No, not the best thing to use. It's a nice novelty, but we're sticking with the whip sword for now. Distance is a better advantage. Fuck off, ectoplasm. Put your tits away, arachne. You're naked. I mean, I'm not complaining, but, you know, I guess it's not all that cold in a dusty-ass library. There's candles hanging everywhere, should be a little bit of warmth. And I'm cursed, which, uh, curse results in mana drain. Which, that, that can be a problem if you rely on your mana weapons. That can be a problem. Flea Man is always the, one of the worst enemies in Castlevania. Just, you know, unpredictable random movements. So now that we got Malphus, the soul, then let's just go ahead and see what's up in some of these places. Heart Pendant? Mm hmm. Heart Pendant, more luck. That'd probably be good if I want to do any soul farming. Because that, that's what luck is all about, is it just gives you more souls. Wait, what is it about me and games that have souls as currency? I don't know. Anyway, you drop the box down and push it over this way. Push, push, push. That's far enough. And up here you get the broadsword. Broadsword, very powerful and has a nice sweeping arc to it. It's a very similar move set to another weapon in this game that uh, I will be showing you guys. But this is actually also very useful because it has a wide range of motion. So you can get things that are slightly above you as well as things that are more or less in front of you. And it can handle multiple enemies as well. So for instance, we're doing all this damage. Great, we got an evil butcher soul. Doing all this damage to like three bone towers at once. Now the problem with this sort of weapon is that it does result in a momentary stop, which is why I like to generally do hopping hits with it. To try and conserve mobility and conserve momentum, I will do hopping hits. Because I don't like to get rooted down in a spot. Alright. Back out. Oh dear. Winged skeletons. Gotta be careful. Oh! Got Durgid. I'm gonna need to, to use an item. Melon is actually very, very powerful as a healing item, so you might want to save that for when you're really in dire trouble. I should switch back to the Whip Sword. Just that distance, though. You just want to have that distance. As I said, unless there's like a real compelling argument for another weapon's attack power, then there's not really much reason. Hammer. Hammer, extremely powerful. Has more or less the same moveset, but it's an incredibly slow weapon with a lot of cooldown time. So I'm just going to stick with the Whip Sword for now. Just for the time being, I'm going to stick with the Whip Sword. Gets me out of those spots. Yeah, just really a treat. Okay, so let's see, where's where's the next area we got to go to? Well, we got to gotta head back the way we came, more or less. Because I think we've got to go and discover the portal. And I'm not going to go down there and fight that zombie officer, I know better. So with a combination of flying armor and... Whoop! Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just going to try to avoid trouble here. I can tell when there's a time to uh, farm experience and there's a time to just move on ahead. Ow, that was a bad decision. 
I'd like to get a Skeleton Knight's Soul. That gives me some extra constitution, which means extra HP. Or at the very least, extra defense. Yeah, Whip, Whip Sword, as you can see, is really helping out. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not... Might not deal with the White Dragon all that much. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, and we got Ghost Dancers. Creepy. So yeah, we're, we're back in the Manticore room, which, you know, that's higher up, and there's there's stuff around here. Ow. Um, a little bit of trouble. Anti-venom is nice for if you get poisoned. So I'm just gonna head up here. Gonna, gonna... Alright, so this is the portal. And there's, even though there's no real actual completion in this game regarding the map, it's still worthwhile to check into various corners just because you might find something good. Even though I'm really not in a position to be experimenting right now, so you know what? Yeah, just going to uh, just gonna go hit up that gate because anything can hurt me right now. My only hope is gaining levels and getting better weapons. So we can get all the way back to the castle entrance this way. Good times. Let's see what's up here. We're like right above the hallway of zombies. We should have access to some of the areas that have a bit more, uh, a bit harder time getting to. Like, you know, earlier after the, uh, after the giant skeleton room, or even before it, there was some difficulty getting up to a place. Killer doll, not worth taking the time to dick with. And what's down here? Cestus. Don't think it's worth it. And that's about as high up as I can go in this room, so I'm just heading back. I'm heading back, I'm gonna see if I can maybe parlay into some better weapons slash armor. Definitely gonna want some, uh, definitely gonna want potions. I should, I should be focusing my money on potions. Focus money on potions because I'm gonna be needing them. Alright, so there's Hammer. Let's say hi to Mina. Welcome back, Soma. Hey. What? That man over there. Who? You mean Hammer? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy, yeah. Look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening a shop in this castle? He's weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. But if you say that he's a good guy, I believe you. Aw, Yoskatene. Aw, she's a cutie. Howdy there, you came. Is this where you've opened your shop? Yes, yes it is. By the way, that cute young lady over there. She's staring at you. Is she your friend? Yeah. Whoa, I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy now, you hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. And you can actually also sell crap that you don't need. Which, I'll be honest, I never end up using these potions. So I'm gonna sell these off. The knife as well, and the bastard, and the short sword. Bastard sword, I'm not gonna be using. Broadsword and hammer, I'll leave alone. Rapier. Kestis, I'll get rid of. I can't imagine using that. Even Kaiser Knuckle and casual clothes. Basically just, you know, fobbing off all the stuff that I have no use for. Yeah, gonna leave that alone. Scarf, eh. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Let's see what he's got to buy. Castle map 2. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get it. I already got castle map 1. 
potion. Let's try to see if we can buy him out of those. That's that's going to be real valuable. And do you have anything useful, my good man? Gladius would not be bad. Scimitar Katana. Ooh. No descript sword. Neat. All right. Uh, we could buy this stuff, but to be honest, where we're going, we're going to get better armor. The potions were the most important thing, really, to get. So as long as we're here, let's just go check this upper park. Oh, hello. Lucky Charm! Hoo-hoo! Lucky Charm gives us extra luck, and I just realized I sold my armor! Don't sell what you're using! Oh my goodness! Well, I guess we'll just buy some armor then. Ah, I was dumb as fuck. Alright, let's see. War fatigues give us more attack and defense. More armor on the copper plate. I could use a little bit more attack. And the war fatigues are less expensive, so I'll go with the war fatigues just for now. Because I don't want to run around without any armor on. Oh god, fuck off, hammer. Don't like your music either. Okay, so since we got sent back all the way over here, that means that there's something near here for us to get. And because money is actually a thing in this game, probably worthwhile to hit up every candle thing that you can, because when you're full up on mana and there's no hearts to drop, or you don't need hearts, then that just basically means that, you know, it'll start dropping money for you instead. So, the logically, according to the way that the castle map 2 is set up, we should be able to just head this way. Just just go to where that uh, darkened area is. But before we do, let's just drop off and have a save. And we're, we're approaching 30 minutes. I want to at least squeeze one more boss episode here. You know, try to average two bosses an episode if I can. So I'll just press on a little bit past 30 if it comes to that. I like to end on a high note. Good, good, good. Alright, so in this room, this is before where the uh, giant skeleton was, we should now be able to get up here. Now that we have the flying armor and all this extra stuff, we should be able to cross this gap very easily. Good, good, good. Yeah, pretty much mowing through anything that comes across us here. And even if you're not going to use all the weapons you pick up, they're still good to sell to Hammer in case you want to buy more potions and whatnot. So don't, don't sniff at any weapons. Don't sniff at anything that you could sell later for profit. Now this siren, just by way of mention, this is one of the only places in the game that you can actually find sirens. The uh, rest of the game, the winged bitches are harpies, and so you don't have the ability to get the uh, any extra souls off of them, just the harpy souls. So again, this is one of the few places where sirens are actually in the game, so just remember that. And on we go. Now we're in the dance hall. With very strange music. Very, very whimsical music. I think in this room we're safe. Don't, don't think there's any enemies here right now. Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It, it is rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my past. Oh, I see. Well, my name's Soma. Your dark power? Were you born with it? I don't really know. First noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J. <laughs> Harley Quinn. Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? Call me J. I'm filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. 
In fact, since my arrival, I felt like my memory is returning. And your accident occurred in 1999? Maybe Dracula was involved? I fear you are correct, especially since I have magical powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, see ya. So, the translation on this one is a little bit literal, I suppose. They're, they're just direct translating as best as possible from Japanese, but... It's, it's a bit weird when they don't, like, use contractions and whatnot. Ooh, got the ghost dancer! Sweet, I will put that on. No, wait, that's a soul. Yay. Ghost dancer! Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll stop. So, the dance hall. Two basic sections to the dance hall. There's this lower area here, which this more or less leads to where we're trying to go, really, which is the next boss. Yeah, Whipsword made that a lot more easy. And this is the Creaking Skull, not to be confused with the giant skeleton we had faced earlier as a boss, although there will be another giant skeleton somewhere in this game. But the Creaking Skull is a different enemy. Please remember that. And now we see a new example of another type of enemy which will be recurring in this game. The Golem. Golems are big and nasty and mean and they kick shit at you and they're very hard to hit. Wooden Golems are by far not the worst. But, as you can see, they're, they're a classic example of why this enemy sucks so bad. Just big and get in the way and everything. Now, the direction I'm going right now is actually not extremely advantageous to me. Because it just leads me into a room where there's not a lot of reward, just a bit of money. And I'll have a little bit of a difficult time on the way back, so... Unless you are ready to commit to this course of action, I would not recommend going this way first. Well, still kind of wrecking those minotaurs there. And anything that tries to come on me from a distance is going to get trouble. Level up is good. I like levels up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna retract my earlier statement about the uh, about the back dash. Here, it really is useful. You do kind of need it. It's best way to get out of trouble. Ow! That hurt. Five hundred gold. All that for this, and we just gotta go head back through that gauntlet of crap. We'll fit another boss in, don't worry. Things were kind of delayed a bit simply because of the cutscenes that we had to wade through. Ow, bit of lag on the button. Alright. This, this battle is dangerous for a couple of reasons. Number one, because you got the golem. Number two, because you got the zombie officer approaching. And the golem is kicking shit at you. So it's just not... It's, it's harder to get back from than it is to get into, let's just say. Wooden golem. I'll stick with the ghost dancer soul for now. Although some golem souls can be very useful. Ow. In trouble. Ow. In more trouble. Alright. Did I mention we're in hard mode? It means more likelihood of using potions. Okay. Made it out of that one safely enough. This flipping soul is useless. This, this zombie soldier soul is no good. Let's let's go back to no, let, let's go to the winged skeleton. It's still going to be our most versatile weapon for the moment. Uh, 
It's fast, it has a little bit of hang time at the end of its arc. It's useful. Here, another room full of these zombie butchers or whatever. Evil butchers. Just in a different sort of uh, color scheme. Best way to avoid getting killed by a golem is to put space between yourself and him. So I'm just going to wail at him. There we go. Of course, the best way to kill a golem is if you have the uh, killer mantle soul, which kills them in one shot. But we don't have that soul. It's not available till quite a bit later in the game. Just got a knife thrown at my face. Great. And a boss door. Stupid, evil butcher. There we go. Ah, save point. And this is going to be yet another boss where we're grateful to have the reach of the whip sword. Let's just jump, jump over that guy. And here we have the giant golem. The big golem. That hand of his is really the biggest problem. It's the most out there thing. And if, it, if you touch it, you do get hurt. You can't do any damage to him by hitting the hand. You gotta more or less hit the legs or the body. So far, he doesn't seem to be trying to really do any major attacks here. He will occasionally stop and vomit up rocks. And... Yeah, like right now. Bleh, ow. And he'll give a swipe forward with his hand. But he's big and slow moving, and as long as you have a distance weapon like this, you're alright. Oh. Occasionally, when his hand does retract back into his body like that, he does get a little bit of super armor. Which, that's maybe not even the right term for super armor, but you know what I mean. He's. That, that's a point you might not be able to hit him if his hand is too far back into his body. Come on, come on. We all know how this battle is going to end up. Don't go vomiting your rock sauce on me. Bleh. Yep, not a terrible fight. Get his soul. And we get the skeleton blaze, which is the slide. Yeah. Now you may have noticed when we came in this room there was a little rock crumbly thing. Yep. If you leave and come back a bunch of times, you know, randomly, you'll actually see the monster. There he is. The Tsuchinoko. Which, he just burrows away really quick. Basically, that is the rarest monster in the game. And actually, if you take a look at the enemy list there, see if we can find Tsuchinoko. Where you at, buddy? Alright, let's go slowly. Tsuchinoko? Toko de deska? I guess you have to kill him for them to get onto the monster compendium, but pretty much the, the description says that Tsuchinoko is a monster that has always thought to be legend and proved the existence of by Soma Cruz in 2035. So you get an honorable mention. Anyways, we're done here, having dispensed our two-boss duty, and we've gotten the Skeleton Blaze Soul for slide capability. Want to remind everybody to please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, my name is Alex, also known as Solonis Dracone. This has been Castlevania, Area of Sorrow. Thank you very much, and good night.